one of the great things about modular film cameras is how interchangeable they are and all the cool things you can do with them, like put a digital sensor on the back of one. So this setup is a Hasselblad 500C M body, and then I have an 80mm lens on the front of it, and then on the back, instead of a regular film back, this is a Phase IQ1 digital back, which takes 50 megapixel pictures, and then lastly, and most importantly, is the SYNC cord here, which connects into the lens, into the digital back, and makes sure everything works together. You just shoot this like any film camera. On the digital back, that's how you choose your ISO, and you should probably use the lowest ISO that your back has because with how high megapixels these things have, the higher the ISO you go, the more noise you're gonna have, and it's just not gonna look good at all. And then you just control the focus, shutter speed, and aperture, just like you normally do. The only difference with this thing is, after you take a picture, you can see exactly what it looks like on the back of it, and you can take as many pictures as your memory card can hold. This is also my first time using a waist level viewfinder camera where I'm not actually, you know, using the waist level viewfinder and I'm actually using an EVFI viewfinder and I must say I enjoy this a lot more just because, you know, the image is in reverse and makes lining up your shot a whole lot easier and then also being able to see if your image is in focus a lot easier. Now the IQ1 50 megapixel back that I'm using is one of the lower end backs that Phase actually makes, but it will still cost you around $20,000, which you know for the normal photographer is still a lot of money and you probably can't afford it. But there are also some different options for digital backs. You have the leaf backs, which Mumia does make, that you know will be a lot less cheaper, kind of you know the lower end back models, but you know will still cost you a couple thousand. Then you also have the Hasselblad digital backs, which um, because of its name, you know, Hasselblad will still cost you about the same as a phase back. You can also use the digital back on different film cameras as well. The phase one back that I'm using works natively on most Hasselblad models, as well as a contact 645 natively. And then you can also use adapters to fit to some cameras, like the Mamiya RZ67. If you get a special adapter, you can adapt the back right to it. And then this also works on large format cameras as well with another special adapter. All right, so we got a nice little old rundown gas station right here. And if there is one thing I love photographing more than tennis courts, it's uh, gas stations. I'm also going to try and get some vertical shots in here with this. Um, theoretically, it seems like it's possible, but you know, with Hasselblad cameras, they're only really meant to shoot um, horizontal. So we're going to see. So let's just try this out. And oh, yep. So I'm, you know, looks like my camera's looking at the scene, but actually, I'm seeing like way over here. So that is very interesting. So here we go. All right, I think that turned out. You know, okay, the little um, shadows are a little messed up there, but it is definitely awkward holding the camera like this. 
Um, and you do look very stupid as well. All right, I think that's the one. Uh, so it looks like we actually got a vertical shot. Probably won't do a whole lot more of these um, because you know it just is really awkward holding the camera and I feel like I'm gonna drop it, which I do not want to do. One thing you do have to be cautious about is how much of the image you're actually getting when looking through the viewfinder. So depending you know, on which camera or back you're using, this is gonna look a little bit different. But just for example, I'm using the Hasselblad 500CM, and this shoots a 6x6 negative. And because of that, when looking through the viewfinder, you're seeing everything that a 6x6 negative can capture. But the digital backs, the sensor on these is a lot smaller than the size of a 6x6 negative, or 6x7, or 6x5, or even a large format, depending you know, on which camera you're using. So because of that, your image is going to be a lot tighter cropped then it looks through the viewfinder, so you kind of just have to mentally crop it yourself when setting up your shot. With a setup like this, your images are just always going to look amazing and have so much detail compared to a DSLR or mirrorless camera. And I do like all the images I was able to get out of this, which is nice. The only hard part, you know, was just lining up my shot because the top and bottom were cropped so much as compared to what it looked like through the viewfinder. And, you know, it probably would have been a little bit easier if I wasn't using, you know, an 80mm lens and I had, you know, a wider lens to shoot with. Now the big question, who exactly is this setup for? Because obviously not everybody can just spend 20k on a digital back. Um, you know, these digital backs are typically used in the high-end commercial world, but they're typically used on phase one cameras and not just, you know, like a film body. And, you know, also for the people who shoot film, you're obviously not going to go out and spend a bunch of money on a digital back because that's the whole point of shooting film. So I don't really know who this system would be for. I just thought it'd be cool to show you a way to shoot digital images on a film camera.